The college soccer, the Battle of I-75 looms for Toledo, but they get together with Kent State for the MAC opener first. Scoreless to start the second half, Tori Lynch sails a free kick over the bar. It's a recurring theme, struggling to cash in on opportunities. 26 minutes to go, Lynch plays a set piece towards Morgan Spittler. Flags up for offsides anyway. Just one shot on goal for Toledo. But it's all clean until the 78th minute. Sienna Stembalic stuffs home the cross. One is better than none. Kent State stifles Toledo, but still some good things to take away. I think second half from us, fantastic. I told the group afterwards, I have nothing, no ill feelings about what they did in the second half. I thought we were the much better team in the second half. We didn't get a ton of scoring chances, but we defended in their half, um, created a ton of really good restart opportunities and, and corners, just nothing to show for it. You know, they had a, a bunch of the game the first maybe 30 minutes, even though we had a goal called back. I haven't seen it yet, so um, we'll see. And, and I think the growth of the group has been fantastic. Mason Lowry and Francis Stevens saw it all. Well, when we chatted with Mark Batman, the Toledo head coach, after the match, the first word that he used was frustrated. And I think specifically he was frustrated at the lack of chance creation from his team because they did a lot right otherwise. Defensively, they were really sound. I mean, I thought Lynch did a really good job back there. But the biggest thing for me was they just never really elevated the game. They never really pressed it, which causes problems in the front third. If you don't have enough numbers up front, you're going to run out of passing options. And when you're not getting your outside backs higher up the pitch, it makes life very difficult. But this Kent State team, they, that disallow goal, it tilted the game, and Kent State was all over him. But they had a lot of solid control. That's a really, really good team that Rob Marinero has over there. Yeah, you know, it's a Toledo team and program that has grown a lot in the last couple of years. You remember where they were in T.J. Buchel's final season. And now to compete against an upper echelon team like Kent State, as Coach Batman told us, last year this matchup was 4-1 on this field. Tonight, fair result. He's right, probably 1-1. The point would have been deserved. Oh, absolutely. And again, you're playing against a Kent State team that started seven underclassmen. They did not play like they were underclassmen at all whatsoever. So, again, this Toledo team, you got to learn. you got to crawl before you walk, walk before you run. They're in that walking stage. They're going to be running here very soon because Coach Batman, I know what his pedigree is, what he's done everywhere he's been. He's got some really solid young players in this program. Really, really impressed with what I saw up front. Yeah, we'll see if they run on Sunday in the Battle of I-75 Women's Soccer Edition. Kent State with a late winner here tonight. Back to you.